this is Amy from Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. My blog's found at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com. And I'm doing a little ruler work on a customer quilt and a border. It's a very simple um, crisscrossing design. I thought I'd try to get a video. And uh, I'm using the camera at a little different angle than I usually do so that I can actually see what I'm doing while shooting this video. A lot of times I can give you guys a great shot, but I can't actually see what I'm doing. And since this is actually a customer quilt, I just couldn't risk it. Now I do have this border divided in roughly three inch segments. There's a little variation just because of the width of my marking tool and also the um, accuracy of these borders and sashings. I'm just zigzagging down one side to the other and I'm changing the side of my ruler, the ruler from side to side on my ruler toe just because of the uh, the AccuFeed foot for my Janome 6600 has an attachment point that stays on the machine and that gets tangled up in my ruler if I go at an angle over here. So I put it off to one side and then off to the other as I go. Just to keep that from getting hung up when you are using the ruler to guide your work. If something jiggles that ruler, you're really out of luck. Now, the border is marked um, for where I want the line to go, which means I have to place my ruler at one quarter of an inch away from where I have marked. And I have found it's fairly easy to eyeball it. I also have to be careful at some of these intersections. The seams can get very thick. The seam allowances can get very thick and throw off my ruler foot, make my machine hang up a little bit on those thick spots. Uh, makes my machine make some awful noises as it stitches through. Uh, that's just something you work with. And I think you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'll do one more little line. And again, this is Amy from Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. The blog is found at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com. I've got a whole section there on the blog about using the Janome ruler foot, ruler toe with the Free Motion Quilting foot there. And it's a great technique. It's not necessarily an advanced technique, so if you're not very experienced at doing free motion, don't despair. This is something I think an intermediate quilter can do. But you do have to be fairly comfortable with how you move the quilt. I've gotten to the end of the sashing. And so I'm going to finish this little cross mark and say good night. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.